So now guys, back to this ignition thing here. Of course we'll need to pull out that electronic ignition and there's these little tabs here. So the idea is to press the tabs. some kind of screwdriver I got a couple couple small ones here so you could just jam it in there let me actually lower the camera this is not that easy to really work so let's see I'm gonna use a flat head down in here just jam it in there to where it's past a little bit of metal piece it's kind of holding itself and then you take this other end and you stick it right there so now all things are things are loose it's trying to grip again okay the electronic portions out so basically this piece this piece is completely new or so it was okay um, so there's no reason for me to assume that the, there's anything wrong with this piece so we'll, we'll be reusing this one uh, but for that other thing that other tumbler I'm gonna leave it like it is right now um, I will actually cut a groove all right all right, this is this is kind of kind of good that it came out. Okay, take a look at inside. You see inside portion of this thing. It's kind of like nice and greased. This is just fell out of there. It's uh, three plastic pieces, and as you basically turn in the key, they kind of rotate inside. Okay, and the, basically this little portion uh, rotates kind of like uh, as you could see the way it's shaped. It's got those little knobs it sort of acts like a Phillips uh, head screwdriver um, and basically as you turn the key inside your electronic ignition here your keys right here and you basically like all the way here it causes the van to cut on basically but I'm, I'm trying to like learn at the same time here uh, that what would cause it not to turn all the way because Supposedly, like I was explaining the last time, once this piece actually kind of breaks, uh, it will stop basically going all the way, all right, and uh, causing your ignition to cut on and causes kind of like a electrical type of problem. There's a good chance that the stumbler might be okay, but I have reason to assume that it's not. It just fell apart more. What the heck? Guys, this whole mechanism just fell out of there. I mean, like, this thing is like literally falling apart of me. And I'm not really trying to teach you guys how to take this thing apart just yet. But obviously, because uh, I'm running into it, look, there's a little spring. Looks like there's some grease there. Let me kind of inspect this thing a little bit. It seems kind of like it's in a pretty good condition for what it is. And now you basically take that little plastic piece, you slide it in there and then you kind of like slide it in and then everything is good um, I guess if the string was closed maybe it would keep it from sliding out but I mean gosh it, it shouldn't be that easy one thing to point out okay this is kind of loose uh, like right now things are inserted but this thing being as loose as it as it is I think it's a good indicator uh, that your uh, key tumbler is kind of like not good but let's test this let's see if this is if I'm correct uh, or am I not correct about this but we'll st we'll stick this thing back in there now one thing for sure I know there's probably a right and the wrong way of putting this thing in there and uh, I like to inspect to see what would be the right and the wrong way. Okay, these, these little cutaways. Yeah, 
these little cutaways here. They're kind of like very, very small details, but basically goes like this. And you press it in there like that. And I had to kind of kind of turn this inside so that it sits all the way down. It's probably no reason for me to be doing this thing because I will not be technically reusing this anytime soon. I think it's a uh, it's going to be something of a good example to keep in mind. Okay, I'm looking at this thing now. Let's look at this other thing. Now here's the antenna ring. You simply lift this tab. You know, I don't want to really do that because this is also kind of like loosey a little bit, you know. It is, but oh well, we're not gonna worry about it right now. Now this has a uh, electronic uh, ignition switch already in here. Um, what I'm kind of thinking should I, I, you know, put a very brand new one in there, or should I leave that one? There's nothing really wrong with it. So I'm going to leave this one in there it's, I'm not being lazy but let's say for instance if I put this thing back in there okay let's say the problem is actually in this little thing it's going to throw me off because I'm going to think well probably not fixed anything and uh, or whatever or if if I leave this in here and if the problem went away and later on I say you know I want to pop this brand new one in there and then the problem comes back then I'm gonna say immediately oh you know it's this thing because I do want to rule the possibility of this out. So we're going to leave this one in there. I'll keep this as a spare with me. But it does have a little bit of a shakiness. An actual metal piece. Let me see how much versus this one. Seems about the same amount. So anyways, I don't want to really make this thing go too long, okay? But we're going to need to start installing this thing back in there. So stay tuned for that. I guess the installation process now.